And this is Wendy coming to you from Fate of the Empress. <laughs> and today I wanted to talk to you about something kind of new that has come about with the last update. And it's kind of like low key, not super high profile because not a lot of people are going to be able to do this. Um, because, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. What it is is skin upgrades. So, skin upgrades, what is it? How does it work? Which skins can you upgrade? So, it seems that now we can upgrade skins. However, the only skins that can be upgraded are the fabled quality, the red skins. Let me show you what I mean. So, let's go to heroes and find a hero with a skin. So... I have um, Zhuangzhou's um, skin here, and if you look here, it's um, yellow quality, so epic. They call it SSR quality. I mean, they can't decide what to call things, like, so it's hard to, like, communicate about it, right? But they call it SSR quality, but it's epic, it's yellow. So this skin is not able to be upgraded. Oh, I guess it can be, but you have to have epic level skins to upgrade, skin shards to upgrade with. Okay, well, that's good to know. I didn't know that. So, when, when learn something new, trying to teach everyone else something new. Yay! Teaching is the best way to learn. So, this is the one I noticed first because I actually had um, some fabled type shards because of um, peachy skin from Song Yu in Skin Anecdote. Like a while back I had gotten this Fox Fairy skin because Levi is my other main damage dealer so I invested in that. Um, not everyone's going to be able to do that so if for some reason that's the case then if you have a you SSR level or epic level skin you can still upgrade if you have the right uh, skin shards for it which I wish I'd known because I had some Zan Zhao skin shards maybe that would have worked all right so let's take a look upgrade what happens I've got some peachy sonnet uh, skin shards I'm gonna put five in I've already put together PG Sonnet from Skin Anecdote, so um, nothing left to do but <laughs> grind these into those purple level tokens for the skin shop, and I feel very bitter about that for reasons I'm not going to go into. All right, so it says that when I get to upgrade plus one, HP will go up 1,500, team crit will go, team HP will go up, 1500 team crit and team resist now team being the operative term here so not just Levi's stats are going to go up but the entire team's stats are going to go up that is a sweet deal so let's take a look upgrade all right that added some to my might and at upgrade three I get team crit damage plus five and a passive skill unlocks wonder what the passive skill this must be no maybe not maybe not that one well let's see how far we can get here so I wonder if it'll just oh no you have to actually add them I was hoping I could just like hit the button and call it good all right, so there's upgrade two. Okay, and then it will actually ask you for the specific skin shards from Levi. Oh, that's expensive. But I did get the first two upgraded for free, pretty much. All I had to do was grind a little bit in Skin Anecdote. But you do have to have 12 million might in order to, and a guild that has that open in skin anecdote in order for you to be getting peachy skin shards so i would say that it's free if you've been playing a long time like and you're able to get to 12 million for free i would say it's 
relatively inexpensive to get PG as uh, sonnet skin if <laughs> if you've spent some money. It's, you know, not a terribly big investment. All right, guys, so that is skin upgrade. I will see if I can get some other skin charts and possibly uh, show you an upgrade on what it looks like on an SSR or Epic level skin because getting those UR or Fabled level skin charts are pretty tough, although this time in Underworld Soul, they are having them as part of the rank rewards for the top 10. So if I get top 10, then maybe I can get some Fox Fairy shards. We'll see. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great night and help each other out.